everyone and welcome back to my channel it's Andrea and today we'll be doing my October favorites I did one last month so if you haven't watched it you should definitely go check it out but I hope everyone had a very safe and fun Halloween and they had a great time I wanted to do something new and start off with like a question of the day I always ask like these questions that make you think outside the box so my question of the day will be who has stuck to their New Year's resolutions that they made in the beginning of 2019? I know I did. Mine was to save money and budget better, and I definitely have been doing very well at that. And I just wanted to ask that question because I just want to know who actually stuck with it, like people who work out for like a week and then stop, or the people that actually continue that throughout the year. That's my question of the day. I'll make you think a little bit about it for the upcoming year. So let's dive right into the video. So what I'll be talking about my favorites of this month will be music, new gluten-free snacks that I've been loving, the movies that I've seen this month, and my new face mask that I found out about. So my first thing that I have is Juice World's new single that he came out with called Bandit. I like that song. I always have supported Juice World. I just love his unique style with his music. And the next, of course, Summer Walker. I love Summer Walker. I have talked about her in my last month favorites. And she just started her tour and she just came to Dallas and I was so sad that I couldn't go. I had clinical. And then the next song that I have is Travis Scott highest in the room I just keep playing it I feel like it won't get old well for right now at least but I love Travis Scott I've been to his concerts and he's very good live so I just like the song because I'm a supporter of him and his music and Sabrina Claudio I talked about her last month as well I love her music and her new album that she just came out with is so good I cannot stop listening to it I think I'll listen to her album Whenever I'm getting ready or in the car, going places, running errands, I'll listen to her music. And St. John, my brother actually got me on St. John. His music is so different. I love, I think, almost every song of this album. But yeah, you should definitely check out St. John. He's a great artist. And then Wale's album just came out. Um, I love almost all the songs on his album. I love the one with Black and Jeremiah. Those are probably my two favorites. And then Routine, I like that song too. But I am a big supporter of Wale and his albums that he's come out with. But then the Golden Child album by YK. I love this album. I especially love the songs Ride, Exotic, Make Love, Mind Games. But Overall, this album was really good. And the next album will be Head in the Clouds 2. I love this artist and I just love this album because there's so many different songs that each one sounds different. It's not like the same beat every single time. It's just really unique and different. Kanye West album, of course. And then Blue Face Baby, How Can We Forget. The song First Class with Gunna, I really like Gunna anyway, but I really liked it. Sweet Insomnia album i really like the one of sweet insomnia with black i'm just a very big supporter of black i saw him in concert the second time or yeah the second time i went to jambalaya and he's amazing live too in division the no crying single with future in it it was really good i feel like that song i am non-stop playing i just really like the beat and the rhythm of that so that's all the music that has come out in October that I've been listening to a lot. So the movie that I saw this month, normally I go see like a few movies throughout the month, not just one, but I only had time for one because I have been so busy this month. I feel like October went so fast and I don't know why. So I only saw one and I saw The Joker. This movie was amazing. I didn't think this movie was going to be like this. I won't spoil it, but I will rate it 97% on Rotten Tomatoes. I normally go see like a bunch of like the Avenger movies, like superhero Batman, but I didn't think it was going to be like a reflection on his life and everything that he goes through with mental illness. I feel like this movie spoke out a lot about mental illness 
and it's something that needs to be talked about because mental illness does exist and this movie is the first of many to come out that it actually speaks about it in that way. The movie was a little violent, of course, because it's a joker, but if you look past it and actually read into the movie and what its purpose was portraying with the joker, then you'll definitely understand and able to almost be in his shoes with mental illness. Even if it was a movie, this stuff actually exists. So I didn't mean to go that deep, but this movie was very deep, so I had to talk about it on the level that the movie was portraying. That was the only movie that I saw. It was rated R. This movie was really good overall. And then I'm gonna talk about study habits. I am in nursing school, so I try and study like 24-7. I don't really have a life in nursing school, but that's just a major in itself. So what I've been doing, I feel like old habits never die. I just started to do this over again. I record my lectures during class and then I will listen to the recording if I'm like getting ready or in the shower or driving. But I feel like it's very helpful because you just pick up where you left off and it's a refresher of what you talked about in class and you'll be like, oh yeah, and then you'll finish, I guess, whatever the professor is saying and then it just helps you remember because I am auditory and a visual learner so I have to do both for the information to really stick so if you didn't know about it now you do and I really hope that this will help your study habits because it's definitely helped me that's my advice for college if you just record lectures but I definitely recommend this for college because you'll definitely need it in the future no matter what your major is and then my gluten-free food that I have been loving lately is the Sprouts brand of their grain free chips these are so good they're better than the cassava chips i feel like these are still cassava flour and gluten free but it just feels like a tortilla chip and i feel like the texture for me is a lot better like i want to eat hummus or just having like chips with whatever i eat I like the texture better and it's really crunchy but it has avocado oil and it's just sea salt. I've definitely really been loving the Sprouts version of the grain-free chips. And I don't think I'll ever get tired of this because it is a substitute for like tortilla chips. I definitely recommend this. And then, if you haven't watched my last video, I did go to LA. And I had these during my stay in LA. And they're Melissa's Clean Snack. They're almond, they're like cubes. These are so good. I was snacking on them on the plane or as a snack if it got really busy and they're very filling and they're delicious, they're not too sweet, but they are gluten free and they do have almonds and then they also have chia seeds and flax seeds, so they're very healthy for you. I definitely recommend these and this bag is really addicting. You can literally eat the whole thing, but because they are so filling, um, you won't be able to, so I guess that's a good thing. And then I love breakfast bars and I tried the Vans breakfast bar. They're gluten free and they're peanut butter and jelly and strawberry. These are good, but I probably wouldn't reach for these before like my Whenever bars or my Bob Mills breakfast bars or even little biscuit cookies I talked about last time. But these ones are still good. They kind of have like a granola consistency, but like a soft granola consistency. And they're filling for like how small this actually is. But I definitely will eat these in the future. And last but not least, like I said, I did change part of my skincare routine. I guess I didn't change, I added in something. So, story time, my mom found a mask that you can try if you have like little bumps on your skin, almost like cystic acne, but it's not cystic acne. And these bumps would not go away. Like it was like on my forehead, like right here. And these would not go away. I tried everything and nothing worked. I feel like it still came back. I didn't know why I was experiencing this. Like I wash my face morning and night and do a normal skincare routine. So I know this sounds really weird, but it's just a chickpea mask. And all you do is you have chickpeas and then you mash it up and then you just put it where you have your acne so I just put it like right here and then I had a few bumps on my chin and then you just wait for it to harden and when it does harden you just wash it off and then do your skincare routine with like your normal soap and everything else that you do it really did take away the bumps on my skin I know it's really weird but it took them away and I don't know why it did maybe it's like something in the chickpea that's anti-inflammatory or something like that but you should definitely try that if you like cannot get rid of your acne I highly recommend that because I woke up the next morning and then the bumps were gone 
so you should definitely try that that's all i had for this month's favorites like i said this month flew by i feel like this month has been so much fun and i just love october i hope you guys like this video and like this subscribe to my channel if you want and i hope to see you in the next one bye